Hi everybody, I am Lorenzo from lorenzocapicard.com and today I want to show you how to use the Mosplain tool in uh, Cinema 4D. Let's go to the MoGraph menu and set Mosplain. Then let's create a new circle and a new sweep curves. Okay, now select these objects and drag and drop into the sweep nurbs. Set sweep nurbs and rotate this object by 90 degrees. Then let's go to the display menu, set simple, set length by 80 and width by 1.3. Okay now set sweep nurbs and then let's go to the MoGraph menu and let's create a new cloner make a sweep nurbs object a child of the cloner object and go to the cloner menu and set mood by grid array for example then set count by Four by five by one. Then set sides twenty five by twenty five. Okay, now rotate this object by ninety degrees again. Then let's create a new disk and change rotation segments by 45. Then select cloner and let's go to the MoGraph menu effector and set random effector. Okay, set position 7 by 0 by 7. Then let's create a new pyramid and set sides by 7 by 7 by 7. Then let's go to the MoGraph menu again and let's create a new cloner. Set pyramid and drag and drop into the cloner. Okay now Let's go to the cloner menu and set mode by object. Then select most spline and drag and drop into the object tab. And make the cloner a child of the most plane object. Okay then go to the cloner menu and set count count by one. Set offset by 90, 99% and uncheck fix clone. Then set parameter of the cloner and rotate this object by ne negative 90 degrees.
Then let's go to the simulate, set particles and extract. Okay, set most spline and go to the fields menu, set mood, set include and and set a tractor and drag it up into the fields tab. Then select a tractor and set strength by negative 50. Then let's create a new sphere, set radius by 20 for example, then make a tractor a child of the sphere. Then increase the seconds of the timelines, for example 15 seconds, then set 0 seconds and add a new keyframes. Then set 10 seconds and set the position of the sphere and Add a new keyframe again. And add a new keyframe. Ok now let's create a new material, set color white then add reflection and set go to the texture for snell, set color like grey and white, grey and white for example, set mix screen strength by 15% specular width by 15% then let's create a new material and uh, set black color then add reflection do the texture for Snell. Set like grey and white. Set mix strength by 25% and specular. Set width by 15, 55% and height by 80%. and new color again and let's select color go to the texture and check set reflection
okay now then let's create a area light set shadow area And then let's create a sky, the sky, and let's create a check color and check luminance. Go to the texture, set gradient, and set type uh, color by like yellow or orange and uh, white and uncheck specular Okay, now let's go to the render settings, set Optut, then set Film Video HDTV, for example. Then save and set Format by QuickTime Movie. Set Frame Range or Frames. Then go to the effects and set global illumination. Set gamma by one, then set sampling low settings. <coughs> 